So this is ResidentRockstar.com, and we're here from, with Johnny from Job for a Cowboy. And we're outside Summit Music Hall. They just played a really amazing set. Thank you. So, uh, how long ago did you get into this? 2003? God, uh, it's really scary to think about. It's been so much longer than you know what it really feels like at this point. But I mean, I feel like um, I was doing the local band thing, 2003. I feel like the band really originated about 2005. That's where it really came full term. Yeah. And you've been with the band the entire time, correct? I'm the only original member. That's right. And you started playing when you were 15. Is that right? About 15, 16. 15, 16 years old. So how how old are you now? I am, take a wild guess, what you got? 20, 20, 29, I don't know, I'm not good at 29. math. 29? I'm not good at math on the spot here. <sighs> well, I need to trim up, apparently. Uh, I'm 25. 25, yeah. damn. I'm a Taurus. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, what made you want to get into metal? Um, it's, uh, I don't know, it seems like um, typical metal band guy. Uh, I grew up with a metal mom, you know. I grew up on Pantera, Megadeth, Queensryche, uh, that whole shebang. Happy you know. birthday, Dimebag, by the way. That as well. <laughs> um, and, you know, I think as I got older, I wanted to expand my horizons. I found, you know, hardcore, grindcore, death metal, the whole shebang, and here I am now, apparently. Yeah. So, um, where did the name Job for a Cowboy come from? Oh, damn it. I hate this question. <laughs> um, do you want the real version or the made-up version? Whichever one you want to give me. Okay. So, I was about 15 years old, and I really, you know, wanted to do the whole cowboy thing. I wanted to live on a ranch, you know, herd cattle. And it's a job that's dwindling more and more. It's, it's kind of phased out at this point. It's really rare to find... So I got really frustrated, and um, I started listening to death metal, and then I created the band job for a cowboy out of frustration. All right. <laughs> so where are you guys playing next after this? Quick, look at the line. Seattle. Seattle. Yeah. Looking forward to that? Yeah, Seattle's awesome. I mean, uh, we are all really looking forward to Denver. I'm sure um, it sounds, you know, made up. But Denver's really awesome. It's a really, awesome. really cool place. It sucks. We have about 25, 26 hour drive to Seattle, but I mean, Seattle's really, really cool too. So, um, you know, it's only like four or five days left on Summer Slaughter, and it's kind of a bummer that it's reaching an end, but the show must end at some point, I suppose. Right on. So, yeah. where's your, like, what is your plans for after Summer Slaughter? What do you guys do? You have um, to we're gonna to go to Europe with Dying Fetus and Revocation. And uh, after that, everything's kind of up in the air. We have a couple ideas, but nothing is confirmed yet. Cool, so what does going to Europe entail? What is that like for you guys? In what regard? Like, is it difficult? You have to get, like, green cards? You get uh, searched? I mean, we're going to Russia, so the visas are involved. That costs some money. Um, the plane tickets are, it, it hurts. It's like <laughs> All of us, it's about seven. Realistically, it's about seven thousand dollars to get to Europe. I mean, it's not all easy. The labels don't pay for it. The, uh, the promoters don't pay for it. Um, so I, I mean, it's it, it's a little costly to go over there, but it's always awesome. And uh, I don't know, we're stoked. We're really good friends with Dying Fetus. Really good friends with Revocation at this point. So both amazing bands. Yeah, absolutely. So it's gonna be a, a blast. So your new album is called what? Demonocracy. Demonocracy. Yes. And what is it about? Um, I think the easiest way for me to explain is um, a lot of death metal bands go the uh, stereotypical stock route of gore, mummies, anti-Christianity, Satanism. It's cool and all. I'm not trying to, uh, you know, point fingers or throw some hate around in that regard. I mean, obviously I love that stuff. But uh, I was really influenced by bands like Napalm Death, At The Gates, uh, even Dying Fetus. You know, bands that kind of went the punk rock, the punk rock route. And um, 
just kind of spoke about spoke about the true evils of the world. You know, less about fantasy and the real problems going on. So that's a good way to go. So you're going your own route. Yeah. Um, um, off the album, what is your favorite song to perform? We haven't really played a whole lot off of it yet, but um, at this point, I'm going to say um, Imperium Wolves. All right. And tonight, what was your favorite? Uh, <laughs> Which one did you enjoy the most? Um, somebody's throwing shit over here. Did you see that? I saw that. Um, Domestic dispute. Um, the opening track off of the album, um, Children of the Sea, is really cool. It's really fun to play. Uh, what's the most rewarding part of touring in being on stage? I mean, in retrospect, going back to, you know, in my teens, I never expected to be on tour for this long. I never expected to go to Europe, you know, South America, Mexico, Japan. It's just, it's just cool knowing the fact that, you know, you've done these things, accomplished the fact of touring the world, and, you know, it's taking a step back. Like I said, I, I would have never expected this to happen. So it's kind of really humbling, but, um, just, just the touring the world aspect, you know, something I would have never ever done unless I did this. Right. So you wouldn't give your job up then? I mean, honestly, no. It's not that bad of a job. Right? Yeah. What's the best advice? I mean, as one of the younger bands on this tour, mm -hmm. you've ever gotten from a like a somebody you looked up to and respected? <laughs> um, that's a tough one. I, I'd say uh, the money thing. Just watch your money. You never know where, where it'll, um, you know, spew out and disappear, so. What advice would you give people? Um, I mean, if you're starting up, just play in your parents' garages forever and have fun with it. And uh, I don't know, just have fun and enjoy it. Don't try to be somebody else. Just kind of uh, do what you want to do and roll with it. So, uh, what is, like... How many albums do you have out now? Uh, three full lengths. Three. Yeah. Which one is your favorite? The new one. The new one. I mean, of realistically, course. yeah. <laughs> it's always a new one, right? Yeah, I mean, I feel like we're the type of band who, you know, didn't want to put out the same record over and over again. We've wanted to challenge ourselves and progress. So, I mean, as cheesy as it, you probably hear it all the time. New, new one's my favorite. Do you feel any pressure to like hurry up and and get? done with the tour and promote it and get to a new album or are you just kind of going to hang hang back and um no there's kind of pressure I mean I think writing a record is one of our favorite parts of the band you know we like to experiment and try new things and I think if you listen to the origin of the band to the band now it's kind of night and day so yeah are the fans uh, accepting the new album well do they like it uh yeah surprisingly I mean you know it's a bit different. Haters are gonna hate, but uh, surprisingly, there haven't been a, a lot of that. There's been a lot of positivity flowing on that record, so it's really cool. That's great. So, where's your best place to contact you if, if fans want to get to know you, talk to you, ask you advice, find out what's going on? It's I best guess, way to do that. I guess Facebook. Facebook. <laughs> You're one of the bands that started on MySpace. And your MySpace went like through the roof. Yeah. And so I bet social networking is one of your mainstays. Is that you know one of the ways you guys communicate with fans the most, or? I mean, I, th I think that's it? how it works with every band right now. I mean, I think you're kind of delusional if you kind of you know disregard that route, and do something else. It's just it's a new era of tape trading. To an extent, you have mm -hmm. everything at your fingertips. You can find it, download it for free, and I don't know. Google it. I back it. <laughs> as long as you can find new things and um, expand your mind with music, it's awesome. Right on. All right, well, this has been an interview with Johnny from Job for a Cowboy, and you can find this on ResidentRockstar.com slash Job for a Cowboy.